Thanks a lot, Ed. Well, next up, a made in Tennessee story about a family dedicated to making decorative metalworks, award-winning pieces that have made Middle Tennessee a little prettier and a lot safer. In fact, this is the story of how old-time craftsmanship and new technology helped this company forge ahead. You can't drive down a street in Nashville without passing something made by a company called Herndon and Mary. Whether it's a simple mailbox or a fancy wrought iron gate. Well, flashback to 1959. That's when Cecil Herndon and Bill Mary Sr. launched a little ornamental iron fabrication business. After Mr. Herndon retired in 1979, the Mary family continued to develop the business into a leading designer of architectural metalwork. What's really changed, we just used to be a little small iron shop with good old boy welders in it, you know, when we specialized in carports and patios back in that day. But now we employ very skilled workers. Some of these guys have degrees in engineering, uh, and we love to bring people into our business that have backgrounds in art or design. I have a degree in interior design. We have other people here with degrees in fine arts. But it, we combine design and metal work together, which most shops don't do. And that's kind of our specialty is the designers. Today, Bill Jr. and Keith Mary carry on their late father's vision, along with a team of accomplished craftsmen who blend old time skills with newer technology. We're still heating that iron just like they did a thousand years ago. And we're still hitting it with a hammer, uh, but that design process and how it actually goes out into the shop, we're using more computer-aided design work. Uh, we have a full staff that does that and uh, provides the drawings both for our customers to review and approve, and then those drawings go out into the shop. So we're gonna typically print that drawing out full scale. And even on a big gate, we may paste together some drawings and then they start putting that on their fabrication tables uh, and start the fabrication process. Cutting the materials first, then starting the welding process of bringing that together. There may be some scroll work on it, so the uh, blacksmith is working on the forge work uh, and then over to the fabricator for him to weld that forge work into the gate itself. Then on to sandblast for cleaning, then on to painting for painting, onto the install truck, and then out for install. From the mid-80s to 2017, Keith was heavily involved in repurposing architectural antiques. In fact, today his office is like a museum of timeless treasures. We were in the architectural business for 30 years, and so I had access to thousands of pieces of 18th, 19th, or early 20th century ironwork. And many times they were damaged pieces or rusty and, or I didn't use all of them. So I began to salvage pieces as a replacement parts. And before you know it, I had over 400 pieces piled in boxes. And I thought, man, I've been taking everybody into my closet to look at this stuff. Let's get it up and display it. So we brought it in here and I, I created this kind of shelving system to display it and let everybody come in and enjoy it. And even though I, I see it every day, I still, it warms my heart when I come in here and I get to see it. Today, the focus is on more high-end custom design work. In addition to iron, metals include everything from stainless steel to aluminum. And while traditional looks may endure, more modern styles have developed as well. We're, we've seen this shift, really, we saw from about the early 90s up into about the past three, four, five years, that heavy European look, uh, that French look, Italian look, but there has been a, a shift in design changes that's a little bit more towards uh, transitional, what we call transitional to more modern. Our number one product is railing. Uh, every year, uh, railings, whether those are front porch railings, interior iron railings, balcony railings, uh, the need for railings, especially in a hilly uh, area like Nashville, is always gonna be there. The company's newest venture is this a line of mass-produced, customized drapery rods. Most of the drapery rods you see on the market are just imports. And so we decided, let's see if we can make them here in our shop. We could do a much better quality job. We could, our turnaround times would be much faster. And people knew who we were and knew we did high quality work. It was high quality work that helped forge this family business in 1959. 
Now a couple of talented brothers are committed to continuing the tradition while also beautifying homes and landscapes around Tennessee and beyond. Well, I guess it's the reward when the customer calls you on the phone or sends you an email and says, we love it. Uh, that's what it's all about is making that customer satisfied with what you did because uh, they look to us to help them and to, to do it right. And we have always been real quality people. My father always instilled in us to always try to give the customer more than what they expect. And when you can do that, you can be around for 60 years in business.